hello everybody welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for checking out on this video so if you are new here please hit on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel if you are old here thanks so much for coming again so we are in the christmas holidays and in this video i'll be showing you how to create your own holiday card in photoshop we are starting everything from scratch and no templates no everything so let's quickly jump into photoshop Alright, so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that you have to do, as always, you have to create a new document. So in this video, I'll be using the size, so you go to file and the new, and I'll be using the size 4x6. You make sure that you've changed this to inches and then you have 4x6. You can leave the resolution at um, 300 or any how you want it. So you just click OK and then it'll give you a nice background like this. This is very nice. So the first thing that I'll have to do, we are creating the template from scratch. No uh, template to put in your photo. So we are creating it ourselves. So let's first select the rectangle tool. And then I'm going to draw a nice rectangle over here. Let me assume this is the size that I want. I think this is okay. Right. Okay. So I have my first rectangle here. And then I'll press Ctrl A on my keyboard and then I'll try to center it like this. So right now it is in the middle, taking it from this side up to this side, it's in the middle of the whole document, right? So I'll therefore have to get some rulers to guide me. So I'll go here and then I'll bring my ruler and then it will guide me and then I'll bring it up here too. And then finally I'll take it to this side. So these are the rulers that are going to guide us to create the template, right? So let me just bring this one to, to the down here. I think this is okay. Right, so um, this is the first grid. We are doing it in the form of a grid, right? So I have my first um, rectangle here. Let me select the rectangle again. And then I'll draw another rectangle. See this rectangle, right? Okay, so let me zoom in a bit and then I can take it to that is why we inserted the uh, ruler so I can take it to the very edge of this particular um, ruler right and then I'll press ctrl J my keyboard and then I'll make a duplicate of that so I'll hold shift and drag it to the other side so I think this place is okay and then I'll press ctrl J again and then I'll drag it to the other side. So you just take your time. And then I think this is okay. So now you can see that we have the third rectangle to be outside of the ruler that we created. So what do we have to do? Hold shift on your keyboard and then select the whole of the three rectangles. So now we have the three rectangles selected. And then you press Ctrl T. And then you can transform it small like this. Afterwards, you can just take your time to position it very neatly like this. Right. I may not have it to the very edge of the rectangle, but I think this is okay. Right. So you take your time and then you reposition it nicely again. And then you can press Ctrl T again and then open it up small, some, somewhere around this place. Then you position it okay so next i'll select or i'll select the first rectangle that we the last rectangle that is this one and then i'll press ctrl j and it will make a duplicate and i'll drag it down small like this so um, you just have to make sure that the intervals between here and that place they are quite if they are not equal or exactly you just have to make sure that it is not ordered too much right so we just take it to this side and I think this is okay so the rest of this side I'm going to create another rectangle for that place I'll select the rectangle too and then I'll draw the rectangle over here so let me put it to this side and then take my time if you if you get missing you just have to zoom in and then press ctrl T from there you can from there you can just 
resize it hold shift and then you draw it to this place so you can see that I have the two in line and then I'll make sure that I take this up like this and then they are also in line and I'll zoom in again to check the bottom and they are also in line so basically this is the template that we are going to make use of and it's ready very simple as that all right so the next thing will have to be how we are going to insert the images and that is pretty simple and fun so you you right click on the area of the rectangle that you want to insert the first picture for instance this is the first rectangle that we created so you right click on that and then it will come rectangle one that is the rectangle that we, we created at first so on top of this you're going to insert the image so you go to file and then you go to place and you have to browse through where you have your pictures on your computer so mine I have it in the new folder and these are the very beautiful pictures of one of my favorites and my most supporting youtubers clueless mama d that's her channel name you can check it out she has a lot of stuff on her channel so clueless mama d thanks so much for the support these are pictures of her and her family they look very nice and i thank her so much for sending these pictures over so firstly i'm going to make use of the first picture over here that is the whole family and then i'll click on place so basically you see that it has it is not organized right you don't worry just right click and select rasterize layer take it on top of this rectangle and then you can right click again and go to clip masking so immediately you select clip masking you see that it has fit the rectangle very neatly and then you can press ctrl j to make any adjustments you want to make sorry any transformation you want to make just make sure that it's not out of the box and then it's as simple as that right now what you can do is you can go to image and then you can add adjustments to the picture so let's increase the brightness more and then the contrast let's go again and then we can select say hue and saturation increase that small uh, i think this is okay so right so you can just be adding adjustment to your image anyhow you want it right okay so let's quickly fill the rest of the photos so you select the second one rectangle two and then you go to file place and then i'm going to place a picture of this is clearless mama d and then you right click and select rasterize layer and then clip masking and then you press ctrl t to just resize it and then you place it very nicely so that is clearless mama d for you and then you increase it out a bit so you can have it over here in the middle or anyhow like that and then i think that is also nice all right so let's select the second rectangle copied and then go to file sorry so basically you just have to be doing it that way you select you place and then you rasterize and clip mask so let me fast forward this area all right so i have this particular a card over here and i think this looks very nicely so you can you can it looks very nice you can just zoom in and then you check out the pictures they are all in place very nicely placed and then i can go ahead and select the whole of these pictures that i just arranged so i'll hold shift from this side and then i'll select the last rectangle and then press ctrl g to group it up so if i turn it off you can see that the whole of the image has so i can get rid of this particular um rulers right now and then i'll have a clear picture of what i'm doing now now okay the last thing that i want to do or the last two things i'll select the background um layer and then of course i'll go to file and place my christmas but is it bubbles or anything i don't know the name so i'll bring it down rescale it and then I'll 
turn it on like this rotate it small and I'm going to place it at the side very neatly right before then I can just select the whole of this cube and take it up small and then I'll select this and make a duplicate of it bring it to the side press ctrl T and then I'll flip it horizontal so you just turn around and then I'll position that too at this very place and then finally I'm going to add a test to it so I'll go to select the test tool and the font I'm using is messenger pigeons if you want to use it you can find it in the description below so I'll write happy holidays and then I can press ctrl T to just resize it press ctrl A and I'll position it in the middle sometimes you can just change the color let me say you can change the color to red or any color that you want any color that fits you but I prefer the blue over here and then you are done so the next time that you want to replace this particular um, images all that you have to do is go to you change this particular image you just remove it delete and then it's gone and then you can replace the next picture that you want to use so you can create different templates for yourself using the method that you have we used you select the rectangle tool or let's say the um the rounded rectangle tool and then you can create a nice template for yourself and for your family i think this video was helpful if it was i hope you give it a like and then you subscribe to my channel for more videos thanks so much for watching this video i'll catch you in the next video bye